In the meantime, you mentioned it. Those alarm clocks are set. The lunches are packed and the first day of school jitters are happening. Once again, it's a pivotal week in Arizona. As some districts open up the classrooms for students once again for the first time since March. John Genovese is live in Cave Creek for us this morning. John, the decision to reopen classrooms there for Cave Creek Unified uh, still doesn't have everybody 100% on board. Exactly, Nick. Here at Cactus Shadows, it is still a divided issue. The school was set to reopen today for in-person instruction, but now that's not happening. More than 20 teachers calling out sick here, forcing the school to remain remote, at least for today. Now, the school will attempt to open for in-person instruction tomorrow. The Cape Creek Unified School District board voted unanimously to move forward with in-person instruction. So far, Cactus Shadows is the only school in the district forced to stay remote due to these call-outs. New this morning, we spoke with the vice president of the Arizona Education Association, who says educators understandably continue to be worried about their health and safety. It's a very difficult scenario and you don't feel connected, but we also have to really weigh our priorities is our priorities to make sure students get um, really great learning opportunities and they're safe or do we just want to get them in a classroom? And there are parents and students here who feel that teachers should be in line with the school board. They are planning a rally for a little later on this morning. Nick, we will be here for that and pass along updates as time goes on. Yeah, because John, we know there's still a number of parents who are concerned about these plans. John Denebisi live for us this morning. John, thank you.